Okay, hi again, this is George, and I wanted to uh, get right into the meat of how to use JWP and type in some, some symbols, some Japanese symbols. Uh, first of all, when you, when you first learn or start to learn Japanese, you, know, you learn that there's basically two types of writing. There are the, there's the writing that was derived from the uh, Chinese, character, uh, Chinese characters, and those are called the kanji. And the translation of the word kanji literally means Chinese characters. And uh, so you have those. And those are actually pictures of words. Uh, Chinese is an ideographic or picture type language. So uh, similar to uh, hieroglyphics uh, in a way that, um, that you have uh, pictures of words. So the word for mountain kind of looks like a mountain. Uh, with three peaks. So anyway, uh, so you have the kanji. Uh, those cannot be directly typed in in uh, JWT uh, with your standard uh, QWERTY keyboard. However, Japanese also has, like uh, some other Asian languages like, like Korean, there is a phonetic language that's made up of symbols. And uh, there's uh, 40 uh, either 43 or 47, I, I forget exactly the number. Anyway, there are about 40-some different uh, symbols for the uh, phonetic language in, in Japanese. And, and actually, the phonetic symbols come in two flavors. They come in what are called hiragana, which are the more curvy or script style of characters. And then there are the katakana, which are the more boxy, Square sort of characters, and uh, and they are they are um, they are have a one to one correspondence. Uh, so there's a, there's one for a ah in both hiragana and katakana, and uh, and uh, a ah, e e o u as they as they say, and so let's look at those right right now. So with our kanji mode selected. You can verify that down here in the in the corner. With the kanji mode selected, we're just going to type the letter A on our keyboard. And when we do that, lo and behold, look at that. There is a symbol, and that matches that symbol right there, which is the symbol for ah. Okay, they say ah. And then the next one is is uh, voiced as E, but we use the letter I. So E. There we go. There's E. So A, uh, E. The next one is U, and that's the letter U. U. A, uh, E, U. And then the uh, then using the E key, I'm going to produce the hiragana for e. E. That's pronounced e. A, e, u, e. And then the last of these, of this set, is o. A, e, u, a, e, u, e, and then o. And we just hit the o key. Yeah. So there's o. Kind of almost sort of looks like uh, the a but a little bit different. Anyway, so there's O. All right, so now let's go on and let's do, <coughs> excuse me, let's do the next line, which is the sound starting with the letter K. So Ka. So I would type K. When I hit K, notice in this corner right here, the uh, letter K appears, lowercase k, and then I'm going to hit the A key, that will disappear, and the symbol for ka will appear there. So K-A, ka. Next, we're going to type in key, which would be K-I, K-I, and there is key. Likewise, we can do ku. K U, K U, and that is the symbol for ku. 
And I always remember that one as it looks like a, a cuckoo bird with its mouth open. Uh, different, different ways of remembering the, the symbols. Everybody has their own way. I remember that one as the, as the cuckoo bird with its mouth open. Uh, so, ka, ki, ku, ke, ke, e. And there's the symbol for ke. And finally, ko, ke, ko. And we get that symbol there. Okay? So there's a, e, u, e, o, ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. And there's a bunch of others that I'm not going to type in right now for time constraints. But I wanted to show you the same ten symbols in katakana. So these are these that I just typed in are called hiragana. And the next ones are called katakana. Okay. So the way I do that is I hold down the shift key when I'm typing in my symbols. So holding down the shift key, I go... Ah, and notice that capital A appears here, but nothing appeared here. The reason for that is uh, something else might happen after that, but uh, we'll we'll get into that uh, in, in another video. So the way that I produce the symbol in this case is I hit the space bar. One way to do it is to hit the space bar, and there is the symbol for ah in katakana. And notice that it's a little different than the ah uh, in hiragana. Okay. So let's do E. So the letter I, capital I. And then I hit the space bar. And we get that symbol. Boy, that's, that's really different from the E in hiragana. Look at that. Okay. So ah, uh, E, U. And we get that symbol. Ah, now that one looks uh, a little bit similar. It's got that kind of uh, that kind of shape there with a little tick on the top of it there. Kind of similar. Okay, so that's U in katakana. A, E, U, E. So we hit the capital E, hit the space bar, and we get this, this symbol here. Almost looks like a capital I. Uh, although the way, I, the way I remember it is that uh, E is like elevator, and those are the elevator doors that are, are closed. Uh, that's, a, that's the way I remember it, that one. Uh, your mileage may vary. <laughs> so we got A, E, U, E, and then O. So I hit the capital O, hit the space bar, and there's the katakana for O. And so likewise, let's use the, uh, let's write in for ka, ki, ku, ke, ko in katakana. So I hold down the shift key and go k, a. And there is the symbol for ka in katakana. And notice uh, there's some similarities there, isn't there? Yeah, a little bit of similarity, a little bit different, but uh, similar as well. So ka, ki. So there's the symbol for ka, uh, for excuse me, for ki, and I did that by holding on the shift key and and typing ki, and you'll notice there there's some similar things between this key and this key, the two lines there. So ka ki ku, uh, that one looks different. Okay, so hold down the shift key and type ku, to get ku in katakana. And now, so we have ka, ki, ku, ke. So hold down the shift key and type ke. So there is ke. And some similarity, not too much, but uh, that's ke. And finally, ko. So hold down the shift key and type ko. And so we've got that one. Yeah, it looks. Yeah, it's got some similar things. Those two lines. This one's got a, a line here. Uh, so that's ko. I remember that one be, uh, by saying, "Oh, I'm going around the corner, ko corner." 
yeah, kind of silly, but that's a, that's the way I remember it. So anyway, so that's uh, that's our first look at typing in characters in JWT. I'll see you on the next video.